Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and on today's video, we're going to be crushing some recycled glass through our glass crushing line behind us. And it starts here with uh, our feeder hopper, so the bottles and the crushed glass would go in here. There's a feeder that feeds the glass onto this conveyor belt behind me. The conveyor belt takes the material up into a hammer mill. This hammer mill currently has a half inch screen in it, so the glass will be crushed to half inch minus. It falls out of the hammer mill onto this conveyor belt. And the material comes under a magnetic cross belt here that'll pull out any steel or lids or bottle caps into this green bin. And then the crushed glass will come up this conveyor and into the blue bin uh, as a finished product. But first, because I have a 16 by 24 jaw crusher module, we'll crush all the glass bottles through that first and uh, then we'll put them in our feeder for final crushing. And the goal here is to reduce the volume and uh, also to crush them up and try and liberate the aluminum and the steel pieces and the plastic caps from the bottles that they can then further be uh, processed down the line once they're separated from the glass. So I'll run it through our machine and we'll show you what happens. So here's the results from our glass bottles through the jaw crusher. And you can see we took two totes and combined them down into one. So we got about 50% or maybe a little bit more volume reduction. And I wanted to show you guys up close the results here. You can see the glass crushed down really nice. But also, any plastic or aluminum goes right through the jaw crusher. So this can be screened out or eddy currented out. And we also get all the steel lids free from any glass, so this can be brought out with a magnet.
Okay, here's the glass after it's been crushed through that half inch screen. And you can see it actually makes quite a few fines. So you get a whole range of sizes here. This is probably in the neighborhood of six or eight mesh and smaller, um, kind of that quarter inch and smaller. And then there's also some, some larger pieces. And so depending on the application, you can either screen this for different fractions or you can use it just like this. But uh, now let's go take a look at the metal bin and, uh, and then we'll change the screen to a smaller uh, 0.8 millimeter screen and we'll crush the glass to a real fine powder. All right, and here's the metal fraction that got pulled off by the magnet. And there wasn't a lot of steel in there, um, but it definitely you know, pulled out some, some steel. And uh, so you, you just don't want that in your glass as a contaminant. Here's the inside of the hammer mill. We've taken the lid off and we're about to change the screen. Uh, but I wanted to show you some of the hammers here. Let's see if I can get a hammer out. There we go. This is actually set up for scrap metal. And so these are manganese hammers. If we were running uh, glass, we'd set it up with our high chrome iron hammer for better abrasion resistance. But uh, these are the hammers, they, they swing on a pin. And you can see down here, here's the screen. These are half inch slots by about four inches wide. And so as that rotor spins around, those hammers swing out and crush anything that goes inside the housing. And once it's crushed small enough to go through the slots, it falls down onto the conveyor and gets carried up under the mag belt and out into that blue bin. And here's the screen we're going to be putting in. This is a 0.8 millimeter slotted screen, so we're going to crush the glass quite a bit finer. But that screen takes up 180 degrees along the bottom of the hammer mill, so you have a lot of screen surface. So we'll get this installed and we'll crush some more glass and get it finer. And there's the results of our glass crushing video. And a couple things I wanted to mention. Uh, the half inch screen, you can do a whole lot more throughput, uh, but it doesn't crush as fine. For the finer screens, it's gonna reduce your throughput and it also needs to be really, really dry because if there's moisture in it, it'll, it'll clamp up and kind of clump together and stuff. So um, if you're gonna really fine crush glass or any material, it needs to be really, really dry so it can fall through that screen and not get kind of uh, clogged up in there. I'm really interested to hear from you guys in the glass recycling industry. Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, let me know tons per hour, throughput, uh, crush size. Um, just let me know kind of what your general operation looks like and what kind of equipment you need and we can really design or build anything you need but I need to understand more uh, about the industry from you guys so if you can email us or give us a call with some more information on what you're looking for that'd be awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments you can find our contact information in the description below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.